and welcome to a new video. This time we're going to talk about something that I wanted to do for a long time and finally I've been able to do so, AR in the navigation with Unreal Engine 5. Just as a small spoiler, we're using Engine, Unreal Engine 5.4.4 because Unreal Engine 5.5 .5 has some issue with the Android camera in the preview, but that doesn't matter. It should work with Unreal Engine 5.5 .5 when it's out of preview. So just to give you a short demo of what we're going to do, we're going to build up on our AR in image tracking and the AR basic sample. So we're tracking an image, there is a cube for reference. As you can see when tracking off my monitor, it's not that stable. So I'm going to move around a bit, keeping it in a good position. And I measured my room beforehand and everything else of geometry is placed based on this measurement. So I'm going to stand up, walk into another room, and there is already an invisible wall occluding the next cube, the green cube, which is the target cube, as you can see here, and it's literally perfect. Well, it's not that perfect as you will see now, so the wall is not perfectly measured, but as soon as I move to a certain point, the wall will occlude and the other cube will be visible again. Now let's try to walk up to a target cube. It's a little bit unstable. I'm not quite sure if this is the AR core implementation of Unreal Engine. I'm testing on the Pixel 8 Pro, so the tracking basically should not be a problem here, as it works with Unity, for instance. And when we're walking back, the cube has a slight offset. So how did I build this? As I said before, it's basically built up on the AR image tracking and AR basics tutorial on YouTube. If you haven't watched them yet, feel free to do so. The links are in the description box. And before we dive into the project, I just wanted to give a big shout out to Tomoe, who helped me a lot making the this wall invisible by showing me how to actually add occlusion to the project and with AR projects in Unreal Engine in general. There is an AR Unreal Engine Developers Discord channel apart from the official channel in the Unreal Engine Discord server. Um, maybe just ask there if you want to access to the Discord server for the AR developers. I'm not quite sure if I'm allowed to share it publicly. And if I pronounce the name of Tomoe the right way. So nevertheless, let's get started with the project overview. Everything is like in the tutorials beforehand. There is an AR game mode, which is pretty standard. It has the AR pawn, which has the camera added. All the logic is in the level blueprint. And there is a unlit material that's just the default unlit material for the walls and an unlit material for the target which where the only difference is is that it's green there is the main level level which is just an empty level the project is set up as for mobile platforms in scalable and for the ar stuff everything is set up like this so you go to project settings to Android, everything is set up here. You can change the name here, the default input, the default touch interface set to none. The Vulkan support, the Vulkan support is turned off. Everything else is set up as in the other videos. And the maps and modes here are set up as well. Everything is open source. GitHub link is in the description box for everyone who wants to check out this project. Looking at the plugins, well, I'll just uh, install Google AR Core. And with AR Core comes the AR Utilities package, which will be used here to set up the occlusion of the wall. And the image tracking is basically done by AR Core and the AR Utilities. Similar to the setup, we created an AR candidate image after importing the plugins. There is our hero marker, and the hero marker is also told in the 
the front tutorial should have an alpha channel. There should be the compression settings should be set to user interface and the sRGB should be ticked. So the marker should look something like this. I added the transparency up here and down here to get the has alpha channel true. Added it to my AR candidate image like this one. Added everything else to the session config. So in session config image tracking, I added the AR candidate image here. And I set up the image tracking in the level blueprint. Let me level blueprint like in the video beforehand, like event begin play start AR session, linking up the AR session config on event and play stop the AR session and on event tick get all AR geometries by class, choosing the AR tracked image here. Then create and for each loop, loop through everything, link up the array on the loop body. I wanted to draw the track geometry. There is no asset for selection here. You can also use the get detected image here for the de more detailed stuff. I'm just using the get local and local to world transform here for my target. Translate this to the transform location and rotation and add this to the set actor location and rotation linking up the debug to track geometry, geometry here and i have a reference for the tracked parent here so i select the track parent in the main level and dragged the reference here to the main level blueprint added it here this is this one compile save and this is the basic setup here for the image tracking and the main level something that it's good to know is that the engine code always thinks that the image that is going to be tracked is set flat on the floor or on the desk so everything that needs to be behind the, the geometry that is for the tracked image must be below it and everything that's in front of it must be above it. So that's the reason why everything is set up here, like everything is floating above because the rotation of the image as I'm displaying it on my screen is about 90 degrees. You can also rotate it down here with another parent, but to keep it just simple, I placed everything on the positive set axis. So everything is more or less in front of my image. There is this invisible wall blueprint where I have my just a normal cube with the unlit material and I just clicked on add for the components and the pass through material updates. This is crucial for having an invisible wall and I added this in blueprint and on the event begin play I added the add effect component block here and the pass through material update was here under components and here is the static mesh component of my object as you can see here you can just drag this here in and get the pass through material update to get this block and for the static mesh component get static mesh component here we go these are the two blocks. They are added to the add affected component here, and this will turn your visible wall, compile and save, into an invisible wall when running in AR. The pass through material update. Everything is set up here. And for the static mesh component, I just moved it 2.5 meters up or behind me, adjusted the scale so that it fits my walls within my flat and I placed the target cube even further away about 4.5 meters here made it a little bit smaller so it's easier visible and the origin cube stays in the origin it just went five centimeters up to be centered on the marker and is about 10 centimeters big as big as the marker is well and that's it
there is this invisible wall preprint. It's added over here, having the right component. This is my invisible wall. There's an origin cube, the target cube. Everything is orientated in the right way. Image tracking is set up. Here are session config, candidate image, candidate image as the marker. The marker is set up in the right way to be tracked correctly. And the image tracking blueprint is also active in the main level blueprint. And everything that's left now is you have to click on platforms, click on your smartphone and deploy it. And after deployed it, as I shown in the intro, you'll be able to scan the marker image. I'll just speed it up a little bit. Walk through your environment, having occlusion walls here, and the possibility to create some kind of AR indoor navigation yourself. So I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people out there who are way better when using Unreal Engine than me. So I guess something like navigation aspect with a navigation line could be done with the Unreal Engine splines. I'm currently learning Unreal Engine, so I'm not yet there to give you a tutorial about that. Maybe someone is very smart and can do that or will just enhance this. As I said, this is open source. The GitHub link is in the description box. And if you want to support the channel, please like, subscribe and comment under the video. Also become a channel member if you're interested in supporting the channel. I already, there are already a few channel members here who are supporting me and that's, I'm really, really grateful for that. So that's it for this short tutorial, for this short introduction and I hope you like it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.